Hello there, I am Giant Quote with more Earthbound. In the last part, we took on the Swain Age Sprout uh, Sanctuary Boss, our third Sanctuary Boss, and we recorded the melody, and it was uh, of um, uh, a fountain made of milk or something. Yeah, and yeah, we decoy the melody. Now I'm gonna just draw um, some money, because I'll need it for later, I guess, for the stuff I wanna buy. Basically, we're gonna be backtracking to Tucson, or not Tucson, but the Ved. We will be going back to Tucson in this part two. So just to be safe, I'm gonna draw like 300. Just to have it. So we're gonna do some backtracking. I'm up here, okay. Yeah, and I will cut back to where we're pretty much at Thread, just to save time. So I'll see you guys in a second. Oh wait, hold on, before I actually even want to talk to some stuff, I'm impressed. Some, someday, sometime, we will, we help you. Yeah, Mr. Sun will help us later, I know that. So that's good. Now we can go off to, um, back to Thread. Okay, here we are back in that one cave. I mean, all we have to do is climb up another ladder, but I think it's in the next room, so let's go into the next room, actually. So yeah, I've battled a lot of, like, armored frogs, and I have one crocodile, which I forget what the name of the crocodile, and we might not like a crocodile. And then I battled a lot of black antoids, and that was really it. Antoids, uh, armored frogs, and crocodiles, basically. So I cut most of that out. Um, I was... And I didn't, I, none of, none of my, neither Ness or, um, nor, um, Jeff or Paul gained any levels, so, or got in, uh, raised any levels in those, in that time, so, I didn't have to cut to, um, where they actually leveled up, because they didn't really level up. So, yeah, let's go back to Thrid, hopefully everything's okay, let's go up the ladder, let's see what's going on. Oh, and look, it's all restored, and everything's all happy again, nice. Let's talk to some people. Let's talk to you. Um, thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Thread. Or Thread. Sorry, Thread. Thanks. Peace, love. Okay. Um, I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Thread sometime? Maybe. Since the leader of the monster is gone, the ghosts in the tunnels in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can get through the tunnel now. That's good to know. I really didn't like these those kids. I really don't didn't like. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? You know, kids are, you know, kids can surprise you. I mean, snuff, snuff said right there. So, um, I want to try to before we leave Thread and go back to Tucson. Actually, I want to do a couple things. So I think there's an insignificant item we can get somewhere. I think it's at the hospital in a certain area. We could check this can, I guess. Let's see here, there's a teddy bear inside. Nice. Paul takes it. Cool, now we have a teddy bear. We found it in the trash can, though. But it's still a teddy bear. It's still cool. It still works. Oh man, where's the. Because I remember the insignificant item being in a drawer in a building. I think it was the hospital. So I have to find my way to the hospital. We got a teddy bear phone. us. <laughs> it's been a while since we actually had a. A teddy bear is a temporary party member. And as you see, I like all that music on too, which is nice. Oh, the bus is right there, okay. I'm just trying, I'm trying to find the insignificant item. Oh my gosh, this bus. I kind of just walked right in front of it, but still. <laughs> this bus. <laughs> this bus. I kind of coughed there. Where is... There's the hospital. I'm hoping that's in here. If my memory serves me correct. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go in this door. If you check this drawer, I think it has something in it. Let's check the drawers. There's an insignificant item in the drawer. Uh, Paul, take, Paul take got the insignificant, insignificant item. Cool. It's really cool. Um, where's that guy who sells stuff for Jeff? Cause I'm gonna buy a couple of bottle rockets cause I'm, I think I only have one more bottle rocket with me. Yeah, he's over there. Okay, cool. And uh, I think you can, if you read the sign, it says, welcome to the circus. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Talk to this guy. Shh, 
don't talk so loud, too loud. What do you want? Um, bye. I've got everything you need. Okay, so. Yeah, let's, uh, bottle rocket for $29. I'm just gonna lug it around. <laughs> Jeff is. Hee <laughs> hee. Bye. Okay, um, another bottle rocket. Yeah. Let's give it to Jeff. Okay. I'm gonna let deposit some of my money back into the ATM. We're gonna head back to Tucson, I guess. I do want mo money for the bus is like six dollars a ride, so. Well, I thought this was an ATM. I guess not. Man, yeah, to find somewhere else to find an ATM, which should be close actually. Yeah, here's the drugstore to look. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. Well, I'll put another McDonald's like machine. Put deposit. Two th twenty. Is that twenty thousand? Twenty thousand four dollars. Wow. Okay. Two hundred twenty. Yeah, that should be good. Twenty three dollars. Let me know. Okay. Now I want to ride the bus back to Tucson because I don't really want to walk there and stuff. If I can ride the bus, that'd be great. Shift and find the bus stop. That's not the bus stop. There's no bus stops in Threed. I might have to walk. Which I don't really want to do if I can ride the bus. For six dollars. Well, it looks like they don't really have any bus station signs. There's a magic butterfly. Oh, here's a bus stop. Okay, I'm gonna go read it from the side. Check the bus schedule. Looks like the next bug coming pretty soon. But pretty soon, there it is. Okay, let's talk to the bus driver. Finally, the bus can make its full run. To Tucson, if you're going, it's gonna cost you sixteen dollars for the lot of you. Six dollars for the lot of you. Do you want to go? Yes. Okay, we're off. I like how we just kind of just jump in the bus and face through it like a ghost. It's pretty fun. I like the bus music when it's riding. Yeah. We. We. We are the little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Yay! Yeah, it's it'll take a minute, but um, we're pretty much there actually. He backs up. <laughs> he backs up into the stop, bus stop. <laughs> Not like totally into the bus stop because that would hurt someone if you backed up and someone was like standing behind the bus. That'd suck. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to the Tucson hospital now, which I think is up here, or maybe ah oh, man, um, somewhere around here. No, I oh man, not the. There's some runaway dogs and ah. Uh, I don't really want to fight them. I just don't. You're gonna have to make me fight them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just don't want to really fight them. I just want to find the hospital. Here's the theater, okay? That's the department store. The hospital should be up here. Because I remember it being... Yeah, it's right here. There we go. So, what I think you have to do is you have to talk to someone, go out of the room, and then come back and talk to them again. I think that's how it goes. I think he's in this room, if I were to guess, first story. Yeah, looks like it, yeah. I guess, talk to him. I am, I'm in perfect tip-top health now. I just wish I had more visitors. Cough, hack, hack, cough. Okay, let's see. Goods. Paul has an insignificant item. Um, 
you as I guess. Thank you. You made me so happy. After all my life, this is the second most important thing to me. Because you are so kind. I want to give you this magic truffle. It's a, it's a souvenir from Sakuraba. Paul got the magic truffle. Okay. I'm gonna probably call Excargo Express to um take the teddy bear. Because like, I randomly just found it in a trash can. I was only really expecting to pick it up. But um, because I don't really think we need it really. For right now at least. Um, so I'm probably gonna just stash it away if I can. Because uh, I want Paul's inventory to not be completely full though. So I'll probably do the Chicago Express, okay. I think there's also one thing I'll show off. I didn't show this off earlier, but you can go anytime in the game, really. Up in the, up when you first always get the Tucson. There's this um, house where this guy will give you hints, if I can find him. Um, it's somewhere around here, I have to find him though. I think it's this house, yeah. Let's go into this house. Yeah. Let's talk to him. Now wait a minute, youngster. I can give you a great hint for just fifty dollars. You like a hint, wouldn't you? Nah, I'm good. But yeah, I just want to show him off that he's, you know, to prove that he is he exists. So you tell me that you don't want a hint? You're either awfully confident or fifty dollars is too much to pay. Anyway, a young man like you is very unusual these days. If you happen to need a hint, come come on back. I'm here all the time. <laughs> yeah, with this little stand that's kinda you know, poorly built, I guess. Poor guy. Dang it, no, no, no enemies, no enemies. Jeez. Jeez. No, 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 no. Man, okay, yeah. I'm gonna use the hotel phone to call Skelgo just to get the teddy bear. <laughs> I'm hoping they can take teddy bears. I mean, come on. Skelgo Express, yes, it's gonna be Tracy on the line. She always answers the phone. Pick up, yep. Okay, yeah, uh, immediately pick up. Oh, I have $17. I might have to. Which all some more money. Check, I guess. And we will draw. Um, let's just draw 20 bucks more. For right now. Just in case. Just so we have enough money to cover the bill. Please be able to take the teddy bear. Kind of caught me off surprise how I found the teddy bear in the trash can in the first place. I wasn't ready to use it really, because. I'm kind of joining to preserve Paul's inventory space. Oh, this is Chicago Express. Your travel charge is eighteen dollars. You can take a couple of Yes, okay. What would you like to take? I can take up three things. Okay, Paula, teddy bear, I guess. Will that be anything else? No, that won't be. Let me confirm your request. You want me to take the teddy bear? Is this correct? Yes. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay, so. Last thing I want to do is actually just go onto another bus and head for Foyside. I just have to find the the bus stops again, which was somewhere around here. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I just don't want to fight any you know enemies right now. I just want to get to the bus stop and be cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's. Yeah. Danger. Do not stand in the street. We do the schedule from the sidewalk. Okay, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Next, check the schedule. It looks like the announcement is coming pretty soon. He just backs up. <laughs> That's funny. This bus is got four side to be a three. If you can pay, uh, for it to you there. Do you want to go? Uh, yes. Let's hop aboard then. Ah, oh, man. I guess if you well, uh, when the bus is horizontal, you can see on the top of its on the top of its uh, gray gray um hand bus, gray hand bus. I think that's a reference to Greyhound bus, like the bus service in real life. I remember I took Greyhound with my sister, uh, but to as transportation to get to Dragon Con because I was trying to we were trying to go from St. Louis, Missouri to Atlanta, Georgia. And we took Greyhound one year, and it, was, it really wasn't that best, of, that good of experience in my opinion. But it still got us there, I guess. I like how the bus kind of just drove sideways a little bit there. It's kind of funny. The bus continues on the fourth side. Do you want to get off here? Ah, uh, nah. Um, I'll, I'll just keep on going, I guess. Three looks a lot. Or th yeah, three looks a lot better than 
last time I got when I first got here it was all like under evil control and stuff. And here's another tunnel too. But yeah, Greyhound bus. Um, I kind of recommend it. Not too much, but it still is a good service, I guess. It got us from point A to point B, especially for Dragon Con. Dragon Con's um the September for 2017. I don't know if I were to guess this video will probably be uploaded in June. I'm recording this on May 25th of 2017, so it'll probably come up and it'll probably go up in June or something. That's just my guess. Depending on how much I can get recorded too. Man, it's bumper to bumper. My job to drive is so I can, my job is to drive so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. Okay. So we're kind of all sweaty right there for a second. We're still kind of sweaty because it's the desert. Okay, now now we're not sweating for some reason. But here's the drugstore. I'm, this is a saving point as a phone. So okay, there we go. We started sweating again. Yeah. So this has been my Earthbound Let's Play part, and let's probably take on more of. Uh, the desert, I guess, and hopefully get to Forside if we can. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time. Earthbound, let's play.